The horseshoe map is the example of a chaotic dynamical system. This is the one we've been waiting for. Let's take a look at its definition. The horseshoe, otherwise known as the Smale horseshoe, invented by Stephen Smale in the 1960s, this is a discrete time 2D system that is given by some function f from the plane to itself. Now this function has some nice properties. It's a homeomorphism. Remember what that means. That means it's continuous and it has a continuous inverse. Okay, so what is this f? What is the equation for this magical, wonderful dynamical system? It's, I don't know. Or rather, I don't care. We're not going to ever describe this analytically. We're only going to look at it qualitatively. So in order to specify what it is, we're going to describe what it does. It stretches, it squeezes, it folds in a particular manner. We're going to focus on what happens inside of a unit square. I might sometimes refer to this as capital I squared, where capital I is the interval from 0 to 1. So I have a little unit square in the plane, left-hand lower corner at the origin. And what it does on that square, we're going to just extend to the rest of the plane in some way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now, what do I mean by that? We're going to take the unit square in the plane origin at the lower left-hand corner. We're going to squeeze that plane, and then we're going to stretch it. The squeezing is going to be horizontal, the stretching is going to be vertical, and we're going to bend the entire structure around and lay it back down on top of the unit square. Now, that's a little bit hard to picture just through a verbal description, so let's take a look. We've got our unit square with a little picture on it, and then we're going to squeeze it horizontally, stretch it vertically, bend it around, and lay the entire structure on top. Now, this map is not a continuous deformation like we've shown here. Rather, it is the end of that continuous deformation that matters. Again, Instant replay, we take that square, we squeeze it horizontally while we stretch it vertically, we bend it over, lay it down on top. That, start to finish, is what the horseshoe does to the unit square. What it does to the rest of the plane? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Pretend that everything is like a big old rubber sheet, something like that, and it just does something to fill in the rest in a non-destructive manner. Well then, is that it? Is that all there is? Well, yeah, that's about it. It's not that complicated, but what really matters is how certain strips line up. If we go back to that image of what the horseshoe is doing, and instead of drawing in just a smiley face, we fill in some strips having to do with how the unit square intersects with its image, that is going to be what really matters. That's where we're going to have to get specific. But more on that a little bit later. For now, we're fine with just this nice little qualitative description of bending a square into a horseshoe shape.